hey guys welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching my new video so in this video I'm going to show you how I created this look the eyes and the reason why I really wanted to do this look is because of this particular palette the Bobbi Brown caviar and Ruby's eyeshadow palettes I wanted to pronounce it very like Frenchy but then I realized I don't speak French so when I when I first saw these colors I was so in love with it and I wanted to create a look with it um, actually I had something else in mind but you know what it always ends up like different than what I had in mind so if you guys want to know how I created this look then keep on watching so the first thing that I'm going to do is do my brows and I'm going to use one of my favorite brow products and it's a new like weird product actually because it's a um brow cushion from iconic london and this is in the shade medium at first when i got this i was super skeptic because i was like a brow cushion i thought it was going to be super wet and but this is actually amazing you get a tiny brush with it uh, which is not a bad brush but it's so super tiny i think i have it here as you can see it's very very tiny and it is very precise so you can work really precise with this but it's just weird in the hand or something like that so i prefer my own brush and this is the anastasia in number seven it's also a little bit smaller than the normal one and um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the darker color and i'm going to use the lighter color color Clur, clur, clur. I'm going to use a lighter color more into like the inwards of the brow. So as you can see, I still have a tattoo underneath my brow. My brow hairs are actually quite, well, it's not long, but they are growing, which I'm very happy about. But I would be really happy if the shadow underneath is gone as soon as possible. I'm dipping into this dark shade. So now I'm taking the lighter shade. I know this looks super harsh on my face right now, but that's because I don't wear any makeup on my face so the eyebrows look bam like in your face, but it will all come together once we are finished with the makeup. Okay, so that's eyebrow number one. I'm going to use Anastasia Brow Gel in the shade Brunette which is a super nice shade if you want your brows to look a little bit more like a little lighter especially in the front since mine are a little bit harsh so i think this really softens up the whole look and there you go my brows are definitely not twins they are sometimes not even cousins but more like neighbors sometimes there are cousins today there are cousins but they are like kind of in a fight you know so as a base but also to really define the brows i'm going to use the all-nighter concealer by urban decay and i recently um got this received this from pr from urban decay and i fell in love i already see i've I've already seen it on Instagram and I couldn't wait to get my hands on it, but it was not available. I don't think it's still available in the Netherlands, so I'm like one of the first. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but it is definitely such a good concealer. If you are looking for a full coverage concealer that is not drying, not creasing, and just give you gives you that like instant coverage, like by circles, hello flawless face, definitely all nighter concealer from Urban Decay. So I'm taking my BH Cosmetics brush in number seven and we're going to drag this downwards so we don't mess up the brow. Look, everything is gone. Uh, little spots, all the redness are gone. The coverage is amazing. Super sharp. Same on the other side. So once we've applied our base concealer, I am going to use a translucent powder to really set everything. And this is the, one of my favorites, Born This Way from Too Faced. So just to make sure our eyeshadow won't be creasing or be patchy. So I'm just taking a brush. This is the 
di kind of like a brush like this um it will do so just really don't miss any spot or you will get uh, patches so on the eyes i am going to use a palette that i've never used before um but it's a beautiful beautiful palette and it's the bobby brown caviar and ruby's eyeshadow palette and i think the name fits the palette so well because when i first saw this palette i was like it's so royal it's so classic it's so stylish you know this is like the bentley of the cars or like the apple of the computers i have no idea what i'm talking about but i bet you do understand me a little bit anyway it just looks so royal it looks beautiful and you know what i saw these colors and i was like finally i know this is so hypocrite but i was like finally there are no warm shades in it because i feel like all my palettes are like 70% of my palettes are contains like warm shades and I'm like kind of like not done with it I will never ever be done with it but you know it's just kind of refreshing to have a little bit more cooler colors and also quite challenging to be honest because I have no idea how I'm going to combine these colors but we will work it out I'm going to start off by using this color right here see that with the spectrum brush in b06 and the color is cool gray eyeshadow okay is it me or i don't really see anything going on maybe that color is a bit too light i see it but just a little bit very subtle okay okay then i will be using a dark color which is the color wheat eyeshadow wheat this one yes finally some color sometimes I think there's there are not like not enough colors to really make cool toned eyeshadows work you know what I mean I kind of miss like the transition colors and so I grab like a warm shade anyway but I think we all need to experiment with cool tones because they make the look so different so refreshing so now we are going to blend this with a clean brush and blend the edges and then we go back in and let's build some color okay so um i really wanted to use the light gray color as a transition but it won't work because it's the color is like too light for me um, so instead of what I'm going to do is using a little bit more of a warm shade um, just to give this transition a little bit more you know transition um, so I'm going to take the Sassy Sienna's palette from Rose of Colors and I'm going to take this color right here just a little bit because I still want this eyeshadow look to be cool toned and this is just going to be a simple transition color without even like hopefully without being like super noticeable it is very pigmented though okay so carefully blend just the edges don't over blend yes this is what i'm talking about so for the lid i'm going to use this brown neutral shade and it has a shimmer in it which is super pretty this is the color um black scotch metallic eyeshadow and i'm going to use a little bit fix spray, fix plus spray on my brush so we do have a little bit more pigmentation going on just apply this on the whole lid it looks more grayish than it looks brown actually it looks way more brown in the palette weird so once we've applied the brown color i'm going to use this burgundy like burgundy purplish brownish color and create like a halo eye if you know what I mean to make it a little bit more smoky let's see how pigmented this is to darken up the edges a little bit more I'm going to use the black color 
deep sapphire sapphire eyeshadow and this is this looks super black so i hope it's not like a grayish meh black mm, that's a nice black okay blend this that looks nice and then the moment that i've been waiting for i'm going to use the middle shade which looks Look how amazing this is super glittery so what i'm going to do is i am going to wet my finger just a little bit with the fix plus so the eyeshadow will be a little bit more sticky so just taking my finger kind of like tap it in the eyeshadow see that i think this is going to look amazing just gently press this in the middle of the eyeshadow that looks amazing i like to go up just a little bit so if i look straight forward you still see like some kind of eyeshadow going on like it's flowing up if you know what I mean that looks nice I like that I do like that so I'm going to do the same on the other side as well and then we will continue with our eyes we'll be right back so I quickly did the other eye as well and the only thing that I'm going to add more on my eyelids is this color right here which is a super nice shimmery like color i don't know if you can see it but not too shimmery which is super pretty for under the brows just so that we have some sort of ooh, glow going on i don't know if you can see it but in real life that looks amazing because it has a bit of a pinky tone to it which makes the look super more like frozen like not, not really like frozen but you know what i mean icy more icy well, that's the same thing i don't know what i'm talking about so i'm back i did my other eye as well and before i can continue with the eyes i like to do the like the base first or else i can't really do my under eyes and we are going to use a beautiful blue color i think yeah i think we're going to do that so i just finished doing my face and so if you're wondering what's on my face right now I will mention all the products in the description box. I also filmed this tutorial for you guys. And I will link that video in the description box also below. Going on, I think the base makes such a huge difference. Finally, my eyes eyeshadow is coming together, you know? So we're going further with the eyes. I think I'm going to apply a little bit more glitter. And it's the Midnight Cowboy Heavy Metal Eyeliner from Urban Decay. Um, just to have a little bit more dimension going on if we want 3d we want 4k I don't even know what I'm talking about it's actually such a simple look to do but always the pretty so for my under eyes we are going in with the blue so I'm taking like a brush like this this one is from Armani I think this is the old collection but grab whatever brush works for you and oh kind of scared I'm going to take the blue one and press it I don't want any fallouts blue is such a royal color I love wearing blue on my eyes it's a slightly more like more mysterious than black if you know what I mean okay just pack it on so you don't have any fallouts and make sure if you like it to connect the eyeshadows together I always kind of like fade this like something like this and then I'm going to fade the eyeshadow so I'm taking this smoky like grayish color again and I'm going to slightly blend it with the slightly with the blue so we have some smokiness going on so I'm going to line my waterline with the perversion eye pencil from Urban Decay going to mix the black and the blue with each other I think that's beautiful same on the other side so to really highlight my inner corner I'm going to use the Juvia's 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 Place the Masquerade palette and I'm going to take the color Giza 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 I don't know if it's Giza or Giza whatever the lightest color Right. 
that was a satisfying face like mm -hmm. so for lashes i'm going to use the lily lashes in mykonos as you can see these are quite heavy i am going to use my favorite lash glue in the world which is from queen tarzi oh, i haven't even applied mascara so mascara i am going to apply roller lash mascara from benefits just one layer so everything is nice and black then putting eyelash that is heavy but i do like it so we're just going to let that dry for a minute and i am going to apply a roller lash mascara i'm going to apply the mascara on my bottom lashes So now that we are done with everything, almost everything, we are going to do the lips. I think this combo is going to look super great. So we're just going to have a look. This is the NYX Liquid Suede in number 7 Sandstorm together with Butterscotch, which is a super nude lipstick from um, Dose of Colors. So I'm going to line my lips with the BH Cosmetics Lip Liner in number... in the name Muse. Muse. My lips look horrible, très horrible. Okay, so now I'm taking Sandstorm. Okay, I like this. Oh, ooh, that is such a pretty color. Okay, so now that the liquid lipstick is a little bit more dry, I am going to apply the butterscotch this is the perfect lipstick if you want to have like some sort of definition going on on the lips sometimes you just you know put on a color which is super nice but then you miss you kind of like miss something this baby does a job look at the difference this is now and this is after just a little bit of i don't know kind of like a something going on or something so that's it guys i hope you really like this look i do love it it's so typical me actually smoky eyes nude lip like hello so am i crazy or are my lips like the exact same color as my shirt <laughs> that is art you know you have to be like me for that but anyways i hope you guys liked this video if you did please give it a thumbs up i will uh mention as always the uh, products in the description box below don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram snapchat and on facebook which is all called dina saba you know the drill fail i wanted to rhyme something but i'm not a rapper i guess thank you guys so much for watching i'll hopefully see you next time bye